Hi everybody, today I am going to show you how to make these super adorable little mini bunny hair clips. Look how cute they are. And I made these in a variety of colours and I had two little versions. I had these like little corduroy look ones and these little ombre like more pastel colours and I got these all from the charm rows. So there we go. Here we'll move these out of the way. And I also used my comb plate template from this, but you can make this both freehand and you can use it with the more basic templates. This is just the one that I am using today. Now I've got my little bunny head. I've got a 45mm clip, 9cm, 9mm for my knot, 12cm to line my clip, and 22 centimeters for the actual bow itself now we're going to start with the bow because like i said that is the most complicated part of the process as i said we're going to start with the actual bow itself so we're going to take our nine millimeter we always want to heat seal the end in the blue clear bit and then we'll take our template and i've numbered mine i've done one to eight then one to eight out and then one to three one to three and i've done that on both sides because you can use this either way now with this we're going to go from two, we want to be using the two points. So to start I'm going to use my thumb to hold it on the one and then I'm going to thread it round the two and then bring that back over on the two and it will take you a minute because you do need to hold this in place still. So this is what you should look at the moment. So we're wrapping around that to round two. And we want to take this back through that one there and on the back you want a slight overlap can you see and then thread that back through that way and then we want to adjust this slightly because we want it to have like a more squared look we want it to be like triangular you see in a minute so where we cross that over we've got a nice even line right down the center can you see and this is what the back looks like so now it's not completely overlapped here so what we're going to do is we're going to just adjust that slightly so it is overlapped i'm going to tuck that down a little bit and bring that over okay and this is what you should have across at the front now with your needle and thread what we're going to do is we're doing a tacking stitch we're not actually stitching through at this point we are just taking it through the bow simple as that and taking that off our template and then don't be like me because I've just dropped my needle there we go don't worry I found it again so we'll slip this off the new template and this is what we've got at the moment this is what the back looks like this is what the front looks like okay now for this you want to take your needle and thread again and we want to go from the center in one two three which is still in that main bit of that ribbon and the fourth one should be coming out of the back like this okay and then we can pull our center stitch out of the way so it doesn't add bulk later there we go and tuck those in if they come loose like that tuck them in because it will give it a nicer finish to the bow when you're doing this and then pinch them together wrap around a couple of times and stitch off in the back 
However, you personally. prefer to do. There you go. And then once I've got it like this, I like to do a little nice gentle curve and heat seal. There. And there you have got your little mini bow. So we can move those out of the way. Now we are going to line our clip and I personally use double sided sticky tape for this but you can use your lighter, it's entirely up to you, what, sorry your glue gun, it's entirely up to you, whatever you personally prefer. And I'll show you how I do this. Now I do a little bit here. And then over the top, heat seal. Take that off there. Work out where we're going here. Take one of these clips. Work out my glue. There. A little bit of glue in that gap. Take clip and also tap against. Put your thumb in that slot so it 100% holds it in place and glues it down. Lift up, bring this across the top. Like I said, you can use glue, it's entirely up to yourself. You want about a centimetre over, heat seal again, and then glue. There. There you go. And then on here, on your bunny, right down the middle of the ears. And attach that to the clip. And if you're anything like me, move all your glue strings out of the way. And then we've got our nine centimeters of ribbon here. We want to make a fish shape like this. Bring this loop through. So you have this. And then turn this one over like this so you have a flat pointed triangle and this is the front I want it to go like this so we're going to glue the back here Place that right over our centre and hold that down a second. Don't need them quite that long, but it's so we can actually get the knot in and have it look all nice and not super fiddly and take us like two hours. A little bit on this side as well. Heat seal and then glue this side over. There is our cute little bow and then we are going to glue this just below our little bunny head.
and I just hold that directly on for a second. Now if you wanted to, you could take a little piece of ribbon over like that and add that for extra grip, but you don't necessarily need to. It should hold just like that. And if you wanted to be a little bit extra there, if you have one of those mini little bows or like a little diamante or anything like that, you could add that to one of the ears to give it like an extra little pop. But how cute are they? And also with this, if you've got the little hearts or anything like that, this principle and method applies to all of those kind of little little corduroy um, padded embellishments, anything like these. This method with this little cute little bow will look really cute with all of those kind of little designs. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye!